Hey everyone, this is Norris Tony coming back to y'all with another video. I'm going to be reading my book, Walk in Faith, my prayer book. I'm going to read a Bible verse and then I'm going to read a prayer. Look upon mine affliction and my pain and forgive all my sins. This is from the book of Psalm chapter 25 verse 18. Here's the prayer. The comfort of the Lord is truly trustworthy. God promises companionship through the valleys that inadvertently brush the family, even if only a if even if only on prime time, distant news, or through neighborhood betrayals, or God forbid, closer to home. Okay, I'm going to read an article from latimes.com. Okay, I'm going to get right to it. Yeah, from LA to Los Angeles Times.com. And it's called Basketball Wives Star British Williams Pleads Guilty to 15 Counts, Including Fraud. This is the lady in question that we'll be talking about in this video. British Williams, who starred in Basketball Wives LA, pleaded guilty to 15 felonies this week in St. Louis. Williams admitted to five counts of misuse of a social security number, four counts of bank fraud, three counts of making false statements to the IRS, and three counts of wire fraud, according to a statement released by the U.S. Attorney's Office of the Eastern, Eastern District of Missouri. Williams first joined, joined the cast of the VH1 show in its third season in 2014 when she became engaged to Lorenzo Gordon, who played basketball professionally overseas. The St. Louis Post-Dispatch reports. In the show's most recent seasons, Williams' arrest and su subsequent restrictions became a plot point when Williams couldn't go on a group trip to Mexico because of her ankle monitor. The Department of Justice reports that some of the crimes Williams admitted to included include underreporting her income on tax returns for 2017 through 2019, falsely claiming her niece and nephew as dependents, amounting to $29,366 in taxes owed using social security numbers that do not belong to her to open bank accounts and lines of credit amounting to $28,537 in failed payments and using social security numbers to deposit thousands of dollars worth of checks taken from other people's accounts without their knowledge and withdrew the money amounting to $23,850 in losses. U.S. Attorney Sailor A. Fleming said the 33-year-old mother admitted to an unusually large number of frauds that victimized taxpayers, banks, credit card companies, individuals, and programs that were intended to help struggling businesses and employees during the COVID-19 pandemic. Additionally, Williams admitted to three pandemic frauds and one insurance fraud. She submitted nine applications that contained false income and payroll information for economic injury disaster loans four applications for the Paycheck Protection Program, and one for the California COVID-19 Rent Re Relief Program. 
Williams received $144,000 in loans from two disaster applications to fund her personal lifestyle. Her plea agreement says she re received $52,647 in PPP loans and $27,801 in re rental assistance even though her work hours were not reduced during the pandemic. She also falsified medical bills to an insurance company for a total of $139,479.92 paid to her co-conspirators or both. The statement said, since Williams' indictment in September 2021, she has not filed taxes and marked herself exempt from paying taxes on her $90,000 salary. Ultimately, the DOG tabulated almost $446,000 in losses. Williams is scheduled to be sentenced August 23rd. Williams, who was also a radio personality in St. Louis, faces years in prison, charges of misusing a social security number and making false statements each carry a potential penalty of up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Bank fraud charges carry penalties of up to $30,000 in prison, a $1 million fine or both. The wire fraud charges carry a penalty of up to 20 years in prison and a $1 million fine. Damn, this girl is stupid. I'm sorry. Woo. This heifer is in trouble, trouble. British, you are dumb, dumb, dumb. So, so dumb, so dumb. Girl, you dumb as hell. What made you think in your right mind that you was going to get away with all this? Like, seriously, when she came back to basketball-wise for season 10, you know, and she had that ankle monitor on, I knew right there that she was guilty. I just didn't know how guilty she was. But I know an innocent person, if you are innocent until proven guilty, you never wear ankle monitor. A guilty, uh, um, innocent person never wears an ankle monitor. So that lets me know right there, that girl did something she ain't had no business doing. She was guilty. I just, like I said, I just don't know how, didn't know how guilty she was. But dang, you was on Basketball Wise back in 2014. Then you went on Marriage Boot Camp with Lorenzo on WeTV. That pays a lot of money. That I think that pays a hundred k. Like you get, I think it's like one one hundred thousand dollars per season that a person gets paid off marriage boot camp. So it's like you got paid probably six figures to do that show with Lorenzo. Then you know you you was a radio personality, a radio DJ slash personality, little personality. You had a radio job. In St. Louis, and I'm sure that paid pretty good. So it's like, girl, you couldn't like the money that you made from these two from these two reality TV shows in your radio job. You, you mean you you couldn't save no money? You couldn't invest any money? You couldn't expand your brand and get more business opportunities in the entertainment industry? Or you couldn't invest your money in a business, a wig line, or uh, stocks and bonds, or in a money market account. You you couldn't do or a CD or anything. You couldn't invest your money in anything. You know you wanted to support your lifestyle, girl. Please, when you make money, you always have to save money. Or either, like I said, you can invest money to make even more money. Girl, oh my goodness. How dumb can you be? You have to be on the world's dumbest criminal list. Like, seriously. After you got away with um, two counts 
two counts of crime for the first time, or you know, after you did you did uh, what you did twice, got away with two counts, then you should have stopped. Seriously, you should have stopped while you was ahead, because after that third time, the IRS gonna notice that something ain't right. They gonna question you, or they gonna write you a letter, sending you a letter in the mail. You know, letting you know that something is going on, some suspicious activity is going on, and they're going to want to, you know, have a conversation with you about it to figure out what's going on. And you must have, if they sent her a notice, she clearly ignored it. It went over her head because she just, you know, kept going and going and going like the Energizer Bunny until she couldn't go no more. Like, seriously. After that third time, people going to be on to you. Not only the IRS, but possibly the FBI going to be on to you after that. You know, seriously, you owe, you owe money in taxes. You was warned. You know that you owe money. And instead of trying to pay money back, pay your, pay your taxes and pay back other stuff, you want to sit up there and make things worse on yourself. Stealing people... You, Social security numbers, like you a thief, man. You a straight, you a criminal. You and you not a smooth criminal. You a dumb criminal. You a stupid criminal. Like seriously, stealing social security numbers, committing bank fraud, claiming your niece and your nephew that didn't even live with you. You were not even taking care of them. You know, if you're going to claim somebody as dependents on your tax, on your taxes, you got to take care of them. They have to live with you. You know, either they have to be your children or they have to be like older people that you're a caregiver to. You know, you have to take care of them or be their caregiver. Other than that, you can't claim people that don't live with you or that you're not taking care of, dummy. You could claim if you owned a home back then or owned a home, you the only thing you could claim is your tax is taxes on that home that you paid on that home. But other than that, you can't claim people. You can't do no kind of de dependents. You can't claim any dependents. So it's like, girl, you younger than me. I'm 38, and I would never do no stuff like that. For real. Like, girl, you 33 and this dumb, you full-grown woman. You full-grown. You knew right from wrong. You know exactly what you was doing. But at the same time, you, you did so much that you got in over your head. Like, seriously. Girl, what was you thinking? What was wrong? What's wrong with you? You know, you you... Setting a poor example for your daughter. You making your daughter look bad. You making yourself look bad. You know, and I wonder, is this going to play out on season 11 of Basketball Wives? If it do, it'll be good TV. But if it doesn't, then I can see why. You know, I see that either you might be in jail by the time that that show come back on, or either plain and simple. You just don't deserve to be back on the show. Really, you don't deserve to be back on the show at all. And why did you agree to come back anyway, knowing that you did all these things? And then you had an ankle monitor on. You should have known that people was going to suspect you being guilty of some crimes. You should have known better. You should have known that you was going to be exposed more by coming back to this show. You shouldn't have came back to the show at all. And then you came on the show lying and crying, talking about, oh, I'm so innocent. I'm innocent. I didn't do nothing wrong. Knowing damn well, all along, you did something. You did all these crimes. You committed all these crimes, but you got on TV and lied to try to make people feel sorry for you. Shame on you, British. Girl, if you look up the word dumb in the definition or a definition of dumb in the dictionary and it was a picture of the word, your picture should appear right next to the word. 
Because that's how dumb you are. You a dumb, dumb pop. You know what I'm saying? You 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 wasn't thinking like, I don't know if your brain cells, something is wrong with your brain cells or what. But girl, you definitely was too far gone. Your mind was gone when you was doing all these crimes. Like seriously. And what made you think that you was not going to get caught? What made you think that you was going to get away with this stuff? Seriously, sooner or later, you should have known that all that stuff you was doing was going to catch up to you. Seriously, you screwed people out of their money. You know, people couldn't, or, you know, you hurt other people. Not only did you hurt yourself, but you hurt other people. And now you about to do some time, girl. We just don't know how much time, but you going to do some time behind this. It's like, you worse than Jen Shaw, or just as bad as Jen Shaw, you know? Or should I, you like a black virgin of Jen Shaw from um, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City? Or should I call you Jen Jr.? You know, just like she was dumb enough to do all the, all the, the um, fraud that she was doing, you just as dumb, but younger. And it's like when you have, when you took out the PP loan, PPP loan, you couldn't invest that money. You couldn't pay back what you, the taxes that you owe. You couldn't use that money to pay your pay your bills. You couldn't use that money to invest in no business. That's really what you should have done: invested in you a business or a hair or a wig line. And money that you was making off that business, you could have um, maybe had a payment plan to pay the IRS back basically pay your taxes. You could have had a payment plan to pay back the PPP loan. But you just not smart like that. You wanted to support your lifestyle. Girl, please. You should have got another job. You should have been working at least two jobs before you did what you did. Shoot, at least you could have been making some money the honest way, the real way, for real. Because when you do need money, that's what you're supposed to do when you need money is get a job, get a J-O-B, not steal people's social security numbers, not um, use false social security, not use social security numbers to open up bank accounts, you know, not, not take out loans when you already owe money. It's just like, oh my goodness. Girl, girl, baby girl, you didn't, you in the world of trouble. You you really are. And I don't feel sorry for you at all. The only person that's the victim in it is this is not only the people that you stole from, but also your daughter is somebody I feel bad for. Because baby girl, you about to be locked in the slammer. You about to be behind bars for what you did. And you going to be in... You gonna be away. You gonna be away from your daughter. You know, you took yourself out of your daughter's life, and you don't even know it. Now, Papa Smurf Lorenzo, wherever you at, baby boy, you gonna have to step up to the plate, and you gonna have to be the parent that this young lady, that this baby, that this girl needs. You gonna have to step up to the plate and take care of your daughter, cause you can't let the grandmama, British mama, do it. You're going to have to step up and be a father and take care of your responsibility and be a good parent, a good example in this girl's life because British ain't no type of example. You know, she she need while she locked up, she need to learn how to be learn how to uh, be a better example and role model for y'all's daughter because she definitely ain't it right now. And British Whenever you get sentenced, whatever time you have to do, I just hope you learned a lesson from all this. Not only that, but girl, you need to read a Bible and you need to get on your knees and you need to pray that God forgives you for all your dirty sins, for all your bad sins, girl. Because you definitely, definitely committed a lot of theft and, and, and fraud. You you just a fraud altogether. Ain't nothing real about you. Everything about you. You might 
you know, have some natural, you might be natural when it comes to your looks, but when it comes to you and your insides, who you are as a person, you a fraud. Ain't nothing natural about you. So like I said, you just miss fraud. British the fraud. That's what, that's your name. You know, but like I said, good luck to you, girl, because you're going you gonna to need, you going to need luck because you in danger, girl. You are in danger of losing your freedom because you're going to lose your freedom. You didn't lost your freedom and you just don't know how much of it you lost. But you the big loser when it comes to all this whole situation. You the loser in the end. Big time. Because if you're going to commit any crime, don't get caught. Don't get caught. And, you know, don't do it so many times to the point where people are going to be on to you. Because they're going to watch you under a microscope. They're going to watch your every move. And they're going to they gonna record it. And then when it's when it add, when all your bad crimes add up to a point where the FBI say, okay, she didn't done enough. We need to come bust you. Then that's when they're going to bust you. And that's exactly what they did. They bust you up. And they're going to hit you up style by making you serve a prison sentence. But like I said, I'm done. Whoa, I hope you all like, comment, subscribe, share this video. Thank, please like my video because it helps my channel. But anyway, like, comment, subscribe, share. Thanks for watching. You all have a good day. Peace.